Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. My name is Deshu Pasni. Today I am here to share with you the assignments from C++ language from object oriented programming subject described in the syllabus of Savitri Bhai University. So there are different assignments. We are going to see them one by one with their complexity in ascending order. So today we are going to see one uh, particular program in which we will see how we can have certain elements given in an array, array which is an homogeneous data structure which can have different kinds of elements, uh, different values of elements, but which is of the same type. So we are going to see sorting and swapping of that elements in an array. So I will share my screen with you. So here you can see in this program, the objective of our program or the statement or problem statement given is write a program in C++ to sort, to sort the numbers in an array using separate function for the display sort and swap. So there is a slight difference between sort and swap in sorting. The sorting follows certain rule of uh, less than or greater than between different elements and swapping is just irrespective of any particular less than greater than relation it just uh, changes the places of two different values the objective of this particular assignment is to learn the concept of input output functions all by reference in c++ okay so we'll start with the program now as you can see the first line of this program starts with hash include io stream so hash include io stream means uh, it is the header file which we are using for different keywords that will be useful in C++ programming. After that, we have another line using namespace std. Both these using namespace, they are the particular keywords in C++ and std is the previous. Now, if we don't use this particular line, then this std should be used with all the different objects, uh, C++ objects like C out, C in continuously. In order to avoid the use of std and the scope resolution operator again and again, we are writing this particular line. Then there are these four functions, void, read, display, swap, and sort, as we have written already in the problem statement. Then we start with the main function. Here you can see in main function, we have two integer variables. One is n and another one is arr in square bracket 100 declared. That means n is one integer variable and arr in square bracket 100. That means array of integers which is having 100 memory locations, it is declared. Then we have four functions read arr, comma n, display arr, comma n, sort arr, comma n, and swap arr, comma n, that is uh, downwards in the program. Now, you can see this uh, particular uh, fashion of main function here, yeah, read function is first, that means it will read the values of elements from the user, then display it, then sort that elements, and then again sorted elements will be displayed. And then at the end it, it has return zero, because in case of C++, our main program must return certain value as exit value, which will be evaluated by the operating system. Now, we we'll start with the program functions. As a read function is called first, you can see there is read function just below main function. Now in read function, the arguments you can see there, we have one local variable int a in square bracket. Uh, there is a square bracket that means we have it for uh, getting the values of arr passed from the main function. And then we have in ampersand n. So this ampersand stands for the call by reference concept. So whatever value that we have in n from main function, it will be given to ampersand n. That means at a location. Okay. So C out enter number of elements in an array. So we will use C out object for displaying certain string onto the console. Then this particular operator is called as insertion operator, and then this string afterwards. Again, similarly, we have seen an object for getting values from user. Then we have extraction operator 
and then the identifier in which we are putting the values after that we have see out again enter data so now earlier we have taken the number of elements in an array and then we have to give the values to each individual location of the array so here we are using for loop for that case and now you can see one variable i is declared directly in the for loop unlike c it just can have run time variables like here i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and just c in and then a of i that means at particular location of a array the value will be inserted over there so in read we are getting values from user and we are putting that values onto the respective array indices then we will go back to the main function here after read we have display function now display function is exactly opposite to the read function because it is showing the elements given by the user so here you can see the arguments are the same as read now here at the place of c, uh, uh, here we were taking elements here we are displaying them so for loop is used for displaying elements so same for loop just at the place of same we have c out and then a of i and then after that we have slash t this slash t character is used for tab spacing between the respective uh, uh, data or strings that we are uh, printing onto the console okay again if you go back to the main function there is a sort function after that so we have to jump back to the sort function here in sort function before starting sort function we must know that for start and sorting we uh, have to know two concept one is called as uh, passes and another one is called as comparisons so using passes and comparisons we can uh, for passes and comparisons we need two different variables and accordingly uh, using swap function in sort function we can do the job so here you can see in sort we have a first variable in i of 0 then i less than n minus 1 and i plus plus now you can say that earlier we have used in display as well as read function variable i but that i variable was local to that respective function and that's why this i and that i they are different now after this we have for n g equal to 0 g less than n minus 1 uh, n minus i minus 1 and g plus plus so here this i stands for number of passes whereas this j stands for number of comparisons now in this for loop if you see if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 now this particular condition checks the particular index location value to its next index location value and accordingly it swaps the values if the conditions are fulfilling and for that case sort function means swap function swap function is very simple you can see here again we are using call by reference concept now in internally that swap function is having one local variable temp temp is having i inserted assigned to it that means temp is equal to i i is assigned with j and j is assigned with temp and by this way the values between the two variables they are swapped and by that way the swapping function is done so i think you all of you have got this particular program properly so we will run this program now so that we will understand it more clearly Okay, so here we can see so here we can see now that it is asking me the number of elements in an array. Okay, so if I write 5 and press enter, so it will ask me to enter the data. So I have to put 5 elements for that array. So I, I will write 6, 2, 8, one so you can see initially it has read the values from user then it is displaying that values like array is six two eight four one sequentially as i have given and after that it used the sort function and using sort function it says array is one two four six eight and by that way it is 
placing that values in an ascending order so i suppose you understood the whole object objective of this program and how we are sorting and starting the values using the c++ program thank you for this particular program